Guys, a friend of mine sent me this amazing video right here where a police officer starts choking on his gum and this alleged criminal decides instead of making a run for it, he decides to help him. Now, I thought the video was so beautiful, I decided to share it with you, but wait till the end and let's discuss what's really going on here. I thought that this video was so beautiful, I decided to go to YouTube and do my research, but then I found this. I don't know which video is fake. I think it's this one because it's an exact recreation of the other one, or the other one's a recreation of this. This one, it seems like the acting is way over the top, and it takes the guy like 20 minutes to get out of the handcuffs. I believe the cop would have choked to death. But you watch it. Let's discuss at the end of the video. Tell me what your thoughts are. Watch how long it takes this guy to get out of the handcuffs. Uh, I believe if this guy was choking to death, uh, he couldn't hold his breath for three hours like this guy does. But keep watching. I've got a couple surprises after this video that I think you're definitely going to want to check out. It says the criminal has to be quick, but come on, bro, it's been 20 minutes. If you thought that was bad, wait till he gives them the Heinlich maneuver. This is crazy. How long does it take to choke to death? It's been like 30 minutes.
get up, get up, get up. All right. All right. I got you, man. He says one more time, at least 15 times. What a coincidence, there's the bubble gum, just like in the first video. FOH, bro. You good, Fuzz? You all right? Honestly, I think they both should be arrested for making this stupid video that is very far-fetched, overacted, and hard to believe. You good? Yeah. Here, boss. Yeah. Here. Here, go ahead. Take me in. Go ahead, go ahead. No. Don't be silly, don't be silly. Oh. You saved my life, bro. You sure, Chief? You take me in if you That's want. Fun. I appreciate you. Since that video was so stupid, I wanted to show you real life people saving real people. This is a cop choking in a diner. I think he's in Staten Island. This guy reacts really quickly. He goes over, gives him the Heinlich maneuver, and saves his life. Like hunched over like this with saliva coming out of his mouth. And I said, uh, are you okay? And he started patting his back like this. So I figured he was choking. Rob Allegra knew what he had to do. And so I just went right into the Heimlich maneuver and I gave him like three uh, plunges to the stomach and it helped him out. And then he started breathing again. Allegra says the officer's partner was right there behind him, making sure he was okay. And he went to the bathroom, he cleaned up, and he came out of the bathroom, he thanked me and everything like that. And uh, you know, I felt really good helping him out. This man right here is getting ready to die in front of his young son as they sit and eat together in a restaurant. As you can see, he starts choking. He's a very large man. And thank God there was an off-duty cop sitting at a table beside him who saw that he was choking and starting to panic. And the man jumped into action and saved this man from a certain death. All this taking place in front of his young son. This is just anyone's nightmare. The man was saved. And shout out to that police officer right there for stepping in to save this man's life in front of his child. This woman actually helps save her own life as she starts choking. She doesn't go real panic mode. She runs over and tries to get someone to help her. It's pretty fascinating. He literally just saved her life. What a hero. That's pretty damn amazing. High school freshman Riley Kelly was eating his lunch with his friends when a bite of cheeseburger almost changed everything. Riley told WWNY, I just didn't chew it all the way. Surveillance video released by Nebraska's Papillon La Vista Community Schools shows basketball coach Joel Huser working on his laptop while on duty in the lunchroom. He notices Riley is struggling to breathe and immediately goes over to help. Coach Huser wrapped his arms around the teen and performed the Heimlich maneuver. 
first while Riley was seated, then standing him up for better control. It's a technique Coach Huser says he is certified in every two years during CPR training. He told WWNY it really paid off this time. This is every parent's worst nightmare. Her child is choking and she is trying to dislodge the food and of course she's freaking out and panicking and I don't want anyone to get triggered. The baby will be fine, but it is very, very scary. This cop comes over and saves its life. I just handed her to him. It was several minutes, so I thought, you know, this this could be it. I was, it, you know, every time I watch this, it's as terrifying as it felt that day. Because of you, our family is intact. And I know that you guys are angels who saved our daughter's life. This is another hero saving the life of this three month old baby while the mother completely loses it. He's blinking. Okay, hold on. Hold on. That is a hero right there, folks. God bless him. Guys, this video is about the Heimlich Maneuver and saving lives. Please watch it. Please learn it. At the end, I show a video on how to do it. This could save someone you love or even a stranger's life. It could save your own. Michigan traffic officer thought the woman he pulled over was trying to get out of a ticket. Well, he didn't know he would end up saving her life. Hi, how you doing? Oh, no. Are you choking? Oh. Are you all right? Get out of the car. Wow, Officer Jason Gates stopped a woman this weekend who ran a red light in Kalamazoo. Turns out the driver was choking on a piece of sausage. Gates got her out of the car and started doing the Heimlich maneuver. It's also caught on his dashboard camera this morning. Many call him a hero for his quick action. She thanked me once she calmed down a little bit. I just feel like I did what I'm paid to do. The officer says it was the first time in his career he had to perform the Heimlich. Wow, she's lucky that she's Drunk alive. Of luck in the middle of a crisis. Happened at a big boy restaurant in Woodhaven when a waitress eating during her break began to choke. Co-workers did what they could to help, but as she tells our Larry Spruill, it took a stranger to step in to save her. Everything happened here inside this restaurant. The unthinkable happened. An employee was working a normal shift when she started choking. I was terrified, I couldn't breathe. Big boy waitress Nicole recalls the life-threatening moments last Friday at her job here in Woodhaven. She was working her regular shift. Things were busy and she was hungry. So she quickly took a bite of the restaurant's famous cornbread before helping a customer. So I heard the bell ding, so I hopped up like I was in like this kind of position or something and then the cornbread got stuck in my throat. And she started choking. I couldn't talk, I couldn't anything. The video then shows Nicole trying to get her co-worker Shirley attention, waving and punching her several times. You can see Nicole putting her hands up in the air, walking around, anything to just breathe. And then she gave me the Heimlich maneuver, wouldn't come out. There was an officer somewhere in the restaurant and he came up and Gave me the Heimlich maneuver about, I don't know, seven times maybe. 
Local four learned he's a Michigan State trooper and was inside the restaurant eating. The video shows him patting Nicole on the back, trying to get the cornbread to come out. Restaurant owner Habib Bobdon says everything happened so fast, but so slow at the same time. I, I was I was freaking out. I mean, you know, something like that. It could. Uh, it was crazy. Minutes later, paramedics arrived, but the Heimlich maneuver from both Shirley and Trooper Mark Adams worked. But when asked, would she eat another piece of cornbread? Yeah, it's good cornbread. I'm Brianna, and today we are going to discuss the things that you need to know if you find a person choking. This is Choking Charlie. He's going to help me with the demonstration. The universal sign for choking is the hands crossed at the neck. If they are coughing, then they are able to breathe, and you would not perform the Heimlich maneuver on them. In order to do this, you stand behind the person and make a fist with your thumb pointing back against you. Midline between the belly button and the rib cage. Grasp that fist with your other hand and pull back and up quickly until the object is expelled or the person loses consciousness and needs to be lowered to the ground to begin CPR. 